name is Tim Borum and I'm the curator of Neighbourhoods. Uh, Neighbourhoods is an art trail through Long Jetty. Basically just bringing a bit of life and culture into Long Jetty. There's a really beautiful energy in the air and you can really feel that everyone in the area is excited. Hey, we're Kim and Eamon, we're from Home Brews. Uh, we're here doing a live broadcast at the Glass Onion Cafe in Long Jetty. First time we've done anything like this, um, so you're about to see whether we sink or swim, but <laughs> we usually play the best new and emerging Australian music on Coast FM uh, with a local focus, and we're taking that local focus to Long Jetty today, playing a whole bunch of local artists, um, having some live performances, interviews, uh, and a bunch of other fun stuff. This is the culmination of creation in isolation and this is my work on this wall here with um, documenting the, the life and times of some aspiring musicians. Uh, during the isolation period it's been a really um, a good way to connect and stay connected and obviously to keep creating and uh, just yeah share stories. Today we have um, flash designs which are just drawn up and you can only pick off the sheet the neighbourhood guys have really um, starting to bring together Long Jetty like it used to be. It's getting the community back on track with where we are and getting people out of the house and showing people that we're doing stuff and people coming in and getting tattooed and stuff. It's good. I wouldn't have spoken to half the people that I've met or seen um, around here if it wasn't for neighbourhoods. It's been a really great initiative to um, get to know a lot of the other business owners and do some creative stuff in the Jetty. No. It's a chance for me to show some of the work that I've been doing over the last few years uh, for the first time on the Central Coast. Um, creating is obviously very, can be a very personal thing, but it's also to be able to share it with an audience and get feedback and then develop and grow from there is important as well. And, and uh, it's a really great initiative because there's a lot of talent on the Central Coast and, and not a whole lot of outlets for it. So things like this um, are really beneficial to the community. I'm at the Mowgli studio at Long Jetty where they have beautiful pots and plants and we're making our own pots for our own plants and it's my birthday today and this is a surprise for my beautiful daughter-in-law and my son for my birthday. Which one's your favourite? I like the monkey. You like the monkey? I like the monkey. I was a photographer with Pete Rush's work. Pete is amazing. I met him at the start of COVID and actually he inspired me to pick up a camera, which I'd never done before. So this is pretty much the first prints of my work I'd ever done. This is the Diplodon, which is like a giant wombat by Pete Rush. And I photographed this in Chittaway Bay Lagoon in my gum boots. <laughs> Just going back over the last 12 months, it feels like a lot longer than that and just how people have survived and I guess inspired each other and yeah, it's just been an incredible process to be honest. I'm actually quite teary looking at everyone else's work, I think it's just incredible, uh, it just blows me away actually. So yeah, I'm so proud. <laughs> quite humbled. I think after the last year where the arts really took a huge hit, I think it's really more important than ever now for everybody to really embrace the arts in their local communities and really build it back up and help artists get back on their feet. Thank you so much.